Hi, this is George coming to you from Nautilus Mission Control at the University of Rhode Island's Inner Space Center. And we've got Corps of Exploration team member Larry Mayer with us today. Larry is aboard Nautilus, which is in the Mediterranean Sea, just south of Cyprus, exploring the Eratosthenes Seamount. Larry, let's just dive right in. Can you tell us what the goals are for this leg of the expedition? Yes, George. Uh, we have uh, several goals, but they all can be summed up in one word, which is really exploration. Um, we actually came to the seamount two years ago and were quite surprised by some of the things we found. Most surprisingly, we found uh, vent, fluid venting from the southeast corner of the seamount. This is something we hadn't really expected. And so we're going to come and see how extensive this is and try to understand what the nature of that fluid flow is. The other aspect is a remarkable series of features that uh, are on the top of the seamount. Those uh, circular features that people thought were pockmarks actually turned out to be something we call sinkholes. Five million years ago, five to six million years ago, the top of this seamount, uh, it got exposed to fresh water. It created caverns and caves, and sometimes the top of those caves collapse, and that's where we get these uh, sinkholes. And so we've already, uh, in the last day or so, uh, explored a few of those, and we're quite anxiously waiting to get over the, the side of the seamount where we hopefully can look inside some of them. Larry, can you describe the Eratosthenes Seamount? What exactly are we diving on? Eratosthenes, and it's taken me a long time to figure out how to say it, uh, th that Seamount, it's easier for me to say that, uh, is quite a remarkable feature. It's uh, probably about uh, 70 kilometers uh, long in the north-south direction, 40 to 50 kilometers wide in the east-west direction. It's about 60 miles south of uh, Cyprus. Uh, most remarkable, it has a very, very flat top. The shallowest part of it is about 750 meters deep, and the deepest part is about 2,000 meters deep. It has a, a remarkable crack on the top, and that crack is an indication of the fact that it is being subducted. It's trying to be pushed down the trench that's uh, in front of Cyprus, and it just doesn't want to go, so it's breaking and cracking. You mentioned that the venting that we discovered in 2010 was surprising. Why is that? It, the surprise was where it was. Um, we had expected we'd actually see venting on the top of the seamount because these features, these circular features, the ones that ended up being the sinkholes, were originally described as pockmarks, and pockmarks imply a feature that's been made by fluid venting up. And when we didn't see the pockmarks on top, but rather realized they were sinkholes, we didn't expect them to see venting. And this is the seamount is being subducted, uh, or trying to be subducted, um, into the trench in front of Cyprus. And we expect that that's, tr try that's actually squeezing these fluids out, and they're coming out this porous layer on the back. And those fluids uh, then provide the chemical nutrients that allow these vent communities to survive. They were quite pervasive as far as we followed them. We can see them associated with cracks. We actually were able to see shimmering fluid coming out. It's clearly carrying the kind of chemistry that's needed to support these communities, but it's not an ultra hot, um, it's not heated by magma like the fluids uh, on the ridge crests. Larry, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. It's my pleasure. It was nice to talk to you. For those of you following at home, join us on Facebook and Twitter, and you can always follow the expedition live right here at NautilusLive.org.